hello guys and welcome to our channel and in today's video i will show you how to add and display custom fields in woocommerce product pages plugins for wp wordpress premium plugins and themes for an affordable price all right so here we can see one of our woocommerce products and each product has its own requirements and custom fields are a great way to add special instructions or additional information regarding the specific product and as you can see this product it's some kind of a wall decoration like a banner and we can add a custom field with hanging instructions like what is the hanging method so by default the native wordpress custom fields are enabled we just need to add them to the screen and we can click on the screen option over here and then uh, mark the checkbox to uh, show the custom fields once you did, just scroll down to below the description and you will see the custom field section over here. Uh, some custom fields already exist, as you can see. Um, but if we would like to create a new one, we can just simply click on the enter new button over here and then we can type in whatever we want. And that's going to be the name of this custom field. For this specific field, I will call hang method. And here you can enter whatever you want any value for example this banner should be hanged with nails right so once you uh, finish it just edit and click on update now we can move on and view the page itself but we cannot see the custom field that we entered over there however we do want our customers to see how to hang this banner so we will need to display it on the page now there are a few different ways to display it on the page I will show you four different ways we can move on to our blog post you will have the link in the description box down below and here we have four methods and let's start with the first one by displaying it inside the theme template file so we'll scroll down and we'll copy this function and most themes will generate the look of your WooCommerce product page to the singular or single.php file so let's go to our theme editor you can do that through here or using an FTP software and we'll go into our active theme and most teams as I said will use the single or singular.php file however this is a little bit more advanced theme and they have their own dedicated template to generate the look of the WooCommerce product pages you can google which template your theme is using after you found the right template just move on into it and here you can position the function wherever you want of course you will need to position it in a way that makes sense because that's where the value will be displayed so here i found one of the divs that generating the content and i can paste it inside this div at the top part and that will appear uh, above the title and I just need to replace the key value with the actual name of the custom field hang method once we did it we can click on update file we'll go back to our product page and if we did it correctly it should be there and you can see that I paste it over here just above the product title and it just say nails now that's good we can also add extra content before to tell the customers what are we talking about so let's wrap it in a paragraph and we can add some text here something like you should hang it with or hang method or whatever and let's not forget to close the paragraph at the end over here save the file refresh the page and you will see that it's now wrapped in a paragraph and the text uh, we added is over there the second method to display custom fields is by using hooks and that's the real power of WordPress because we can use hooks to add content to various parts of the page so for example let's take this function over here and this function will display the custom field inside the hook that we want so let's go back to our theme editor you can see I reverted the process and this time we'll go into the functions.php file of our child team and we'll scroll all the way down and we will paste it 
over here. Now there are two things you will need to change. Of course, the key value to the actual custom field name, hang method, and also the hook name. Now there are many WooCommerce hooks that you can use to display the content in the relevant position. And I will leave you a link to the list of hooks that you can use, okay? So we'll need to place the hook over there. So in the written blog post, I can see one of the hooks names and I can just enter it over here. Just like so. Once you finish, click on update file, revisit the product page and look for the content in the right position. As you can see, we added it to this hook over here. Of course, you can change the hook and that will change where it appears. Now, just as we did earlier, we can add text either before, after, or both by entering the text over here, whatever text you will want. In this third method, we will use shortcodes to display our custom fields. And that's great because when you use shortcodes, you can display it anywhere on the page, uh, in the description box, and wherever. So in order to enable this function, we'll need to paste it inside the functions.php file. So we'll copy it and paste it here all the way at the bottom. Then we'll just update the file. We don't need to change anything here. It's already set to work with shortcodes. Now let me show you how to use the shortcode. Just move on to your product page, switch to the text tab, and just wrap it in a shortcode that's called field. We can also add some text, for example, hang method or hang it with or whatever. And then to display the custom field, you create the shortcode. Inside you type in field and you put the field name inside quotes. For example, hang method. Just like so, then update the file and just revisit the page to make sure it actually appears over there. And finally, if you build your WooCommerce store with Elementor, you can definitely use Elementor to display custom fields. Just drag any widget with dynamic tags, for example, this text editor. Click on the dynamic tag icon on the right top corner and select the post custom field. Here, you will need to enter the custom field name, such as hang method, and you will see it appear over here. And if you like to add text before or after, just expand the advanced tab and add some text either before or after or both. And then you'll see that it appears just next to the custom field value, just like so. All right, guys. So thank you very much for watching this video. Please let me know if you have any questions regarding the process by leaving a comment down below. Please also like the video, share it with your friends and subscribe to our channel because there are more great videos on the way. I will see you all in the next video.